Hey ladies and gents, Dallas here with Privateer Press. Today we're gonna look at how all the techniques we've learned can help us paint a model quickly and have it look great on the table. So, let's get started. I'm gonna dry brush our scorn armor with our cold steel, just to give us a nice base for our gold to take hold. Just a little dip. And remove all the excess. You just want a nice light coat. We're just going to flick this back and forth across our model. What this does is if there's a little bit of undercoat shining through our gold, it's silver and it just makes it look more golden. It just keeps the metallosity up. All right. I'm not going to clean my brush. I'm going to go straight to rule it gold. Give that a good shake. And just the tip. Grab a hold of it. Once again, this is dry brushing, so I don't want a lot of paint on there. And we're just going to dry brush this over our model as well. Put our gold on here. And as you can see, it covers much easier over top of the silver. It's just kind of turning the silver into a gold. I don't care about being messy at this point. Everything's going to get painted, so a little gold on areas like the face and the black cloth. That doesn't matter at this point. We're just, we're just worried about the gold. All that other stuff will be painted over. No big whoop. And just continue over to you get a nice layer of gold. It's nice and thin, and it's very gold. There we go. Now we can clean our brush and move on to shading. So for shading, we're going to mix a little brown ink and yellow ink. Very give that a shake, just to make sure. We're just going 50-50 here. It doesn't have to be precise. Even these droppers, sometimes the holes can be bigger and they're not exactly precise. Close enough is good enough. Two, three, four. We're just gonna apply this with a, with a blend onto the shadow parts of our gold. Gives us a nice golden brown. So, just the tip of our applicator brush. And just start shading your gold. That's kind of like a wash. And then I use my blend brush to kind of wick it away from the upper surfaces. Where I need my highlight, or just where I don't want the shadow. Just using the tip of the brush. And just work the gold all the way around, just giving it some shadow and some depth. And that yellow and brown works together to warm up that gold. Just think about where the gold armor is. So if you were painting a unit of these Praetorian swordsmen, this would be an excellent technique to knock out a unit very quickly. Getting all that gold armor painted on there can really go fast with this technique. You can see I'm moving pretty, pretty fast. I'm treating it like a wash and just being a little controlled with it. And just for demonstration purposes, just, I'm not gonna paint the back of this guy. All right, now we can highlight it. For highlighting, we're just gonna add some solid gold to the upper surfaces. And I'm gonna need a bit of this, so I'm just gonna use my old grabber brush here. Just use some solid gold. Just blend that on the upper ridges and surfaces. So I dip the applicator brush. And 
and just blend that where you feel the light would be catching on the armor. I'm going to go for kind of a noon o'clock here. And on areas like this, like this shoulder, you can just layer that on. No need for blending. Even here, just a little layer. Not everything needs to be blended. So I'm just kind of thinking about this guy for an army tabletop, so it doesn't got to be perfect. So this got to look really cool on the table, arm's length. So I'm just trying to give that impression. Just work that gold armor, all the highlights, little mix of layer, little mix of blend. Just all coming together to paint a little guy. And now for extreme highlight, I'm going to take some radiant platinum and mix that into my solid gold. So I got my solid gold out. Just grab a little bit of that and mix it into radiant platinum. You get this very bright silvery gold color. I'm just going to layer this on the very upper surfaces. And this will give that metal a very nice shine. Just in like the corners where it's really going to grab the most light. Just go for extreme pop here. A lot of contrast. In this case, contrast is just the, the relative difference between the light area and the dark area. You want your highlights to be a little bit lighter and you want your shadows to be a little bit darker. Just to have that visual interest this just gives it that really shiny metal look. Just think of like the glinting lights on a piece of metal. I feel like these little, little lines there could grab a little bit more shadow. I'll just grab a little bit of that. Just Paint that in there. Just using the tip of my brush and my shadow color. Just to make that pop out. There we go, just like that. Okay, it looks a little messy. So let's black out all the areas around it and see how it looks. All right, with the addition of our black, you can see the effect of the metal and the effect of the gold and really increasing Really shows the metalosity of our armor here. Nice, simple tabletop scorn gold. We have a really strong base to our model and used a combination of techniques to not only make the details of the figure pop out, but also quickly get a bulk of the model painted and ready. Next time, we'll tackle the armor plates using some glazing along with our blending technique. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos. Check out the links below for more in this series and additional information on the P3 Hobby Line. We have a really strong base to our model. Use the combination of techniques. Next time, join me and we'll paint some more dudes. <laughs>